Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be covering a major update to my SignalOS camera mod. For those who don't know, a few months ago, I released a camera perspective mod. This mod added a first person and third person over the shoulder camera mode, as well as a DMC camera angle to SignalOS, allowing you to view the game in a whole new direction. Since the mod's original release, I've been working on updates, and in today's video, I'll be covering the newest update to camera perspective mod, this being update 1.5. This update adds the much requested mouse control over the camera, as well as new scroll wheel based sensitivity, newer error logging, and finally sets it up a structure that actually might work for a possible future VR mode. So, with no more delay, let's get right into this. Starting off, let's cover the main new addition for this build of CPM. This being the support of the usage of the mouse to be able to control the camera more precisely and accurately. It's been a major requested feature for quite a long time, and with the changes in 1.4, it is now possible to add this feature. Building on the earlier implementation of the keyboard-based camera control, the camera pivot system adds higher precision using a new set of code to handle the rotation. This combines with the fact that it is bound to a mouse, which allows for somewhat smooth levels of control that are far more intuitive than the very blocky tank control type system. It should be noted that this is really built for the first person perspective. I mean, all the changes in today's video are for the first person perspective. It works for the other cameras, but it's built for the first person camera, so it's gonna work the best in that system. The next major addition for this build is greatly connected to the idea of adding higher degrees of control. As now in the scroll wheel, there's a new added functionality of it being bound to the look sensitivity. Essentially, scrolling upwards will now increase your look sensitivity. Scrolling downwards will decrease it. Decreasing is capped at zero, essentially ensuring that it will not become negative and reverse the directions of the movements. But increasing can essentially go up to the infants. I just wouldn't recommend it in the slightest. Um, it would cause awful motion sickness. This added degree of control should allow for you to be more comfortable with the general handling of the mod in first person, as you can use these sensitivity modifications to modify the aforementioned fine-tuned pivot motions of the mouse. In the future, I intend to see if there's an interest in adding a couple of things to streamline this process. One will be an ability to save a preset for the sensitivity, allowing the preset to be loaded in any scene even after reloading the game. Two, this preset will be able to be freely shared and edited, allowing you to take other settings if you so want. Three, I intend on allowing you to use an alternate system, like if you want the mouse to use the, the tank controls and the keyboard to use the pivot, it's all up to you. That would be really something I want to be able to be edited in the preset saves. Those systems currently aren't available, but I'm going to be trying my best to add them further down the road. In other news, there is some more backend work. The original error logger for CPM was flawed in a lot of ways, and as its functionality is spread across this and other projects, it needed some improvement. The new error logger will now have a field requiring specified values for the logger's tag to ensure we know where things are going wrong. This will make debugging even easier than it is, and overall just improve my ability to ensure you all are getting a quality product that I can debug moving forward. Now that we've gone through the updates, I'd like to quickly go through an explanation of how to install this for those of you who are new to the experience. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the link I have below to the Nexus mod page for this mod. When you get to this page, you will see a link to download the mod, and you're going to want to download this file. However, this soul.dll file is not enough, so we're going to need to set up something to actually read my mod. This is where Melonloader comes in. On the Nexus page for this mod, you will see a required file link for Melonloader. Tap this and navigate to their website. Here you will see an ability to download an installer from Melonloader, which you're going to want. Using this installer, we can direct it to our Signalis files, which can be found in the Steam Common Apps folder, which can be accessed by going on Steam and clicking on our recent files. Next, we don't actually want to use the suggested settings anymore, as the newest version of Melonloader version 6.0 is honestly awful. So Signalis mods are instead built using the now outdated 5.7. You can choose this option as the install by going to settings, toggling the one that lets you use older builds, and returning to the auto launcher and selecting the 5.7 version of Melonloader. I should also note here that if you use Bepinex, this will not work. You cannot have both Bepinex and Melonloader. It will most likely cause crashes, and you definitely cannot load the camera perspective mod in Bepinex. Now with Melonloader installed, we can navigate back to our local files and open up the mods folder. 
in this folder, we can now drag in my file you downloaded earlier. So if you open Signalis, my mod should load in. And here we are so close to being done, though the last thing you're going to want to do is some minor settings in-game. You're going to want to toggle to make sure this experience isn't awful. Um, really, I tried in the past to force the game to toggle these, but it didn't work and made unnecessary bugs that just caused a lot of headaches. So simply navigate to your settings tab and enable both tank mode and simple enemy rendering. These two settings are integral for the mod to work properly, otherwise you're just not going to have a too great experience with the mod. With these settings and the mod now installed, you can look at the three camera modes that this mod offers. First is the first person camera, the players can toggle this using F1 allowing them to play the games out of the eyes of Elster. Next is the third person over the shoulder camera, this one is toggled by F2, which gives a camera that resembles the camera angle from Dead Space, letting Elster really embody her inner Isaac Clark. Finally is the Devil May Cry drone camera. This one is toggled by the numpad plus button, which can give the camera, as the name suggests, something of a resemblance to how Devil May Cry looks, or how a drone following someone would look. You can then use the minus button to restore the camera back to normal, or really of any of the other buttons that of any other camera that you didn't use initially to switch between them. As mentioned earlier in the video, you can use the mouse, mouse scroll, and keypads to control the camera to get a more personalized experience and higher degrees of control. And to close out the video, we should probably get into the future of this mod. This mod gets updates almost every three months at my current schedule. It isn't something I sit down and plan. Wait, it's not like I sit down and I'm like, okay, three months from now, January, I'm going to drop another update. But it's more so something that I recognize I have a life, I have other projects, and I can't exactly update this as frequently as other things. So in terms of updates for this mod, I think the next step will really be focused on the aforementioned preset scroll and really just trying to polish the systems already existing to a even greater refined state. But this mod's ideas are certainly not done for the near future, as there's another major community project that has been in high demand lately that I'd like to try and pull off, this being the idea of a Signalis VN mod. I talked about before that I physically cannot play VN, and that I've never had plans to build a VN mod due to that. However, I have considered an alternative, and that is public testing of builds. Because public testing of builds to try and mend this gap of me not being able to test my own mod should allow other people to let me know some feedback on what's going on to make sure I actually produce a working, usable mod for everyone. And on top of that, there's also the new improvements to CPM that came with this update that really make it feel like a mod like that couldn't be that impossible. So I'm definitely on the field for considering such an idea. So I will be trying to build a version of this mod, um, camera perspective mod with VR settings, but I will need testers. So if you're interested in such an occurrence, please join my Discord link below and give me some information. We can work together to try to make this a reality. But for now, that's all I've got. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.